Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today I'm making an easy pinwheel banner and magnet. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now listen, you do not need a Cricut for this. I'm lazy, so I'm using a Cricut, but I love making pinwheels uh, with anything, paper, felt, anything. So if you're using a maker, be sure to use the rotary tool. And if you're using the Explore Air 2, get out your bonding so you can bond your felt. All right, so here's what we're going to use. We're just gonna be using um, wool balls, lollipop sticks, brads, and then our cut pieces. As you can imagine, uh, this is really textured. The felt just makes it adorable. I bought a pre-mixed color of felt. It was like a pastel rainbow set. Um, but you, if you have whatever you have on hand, you can make. All we're gonna do is flick down the center so that we can glue the, what are they called? What are the things of a pinwheel called? I don't know, whatever those things are, we're gonna glue those right towards the center. We're not gonna cover up the center because that's where this little brad goes. We're just gonna pop the brad in there after all that glue is dry and then spread it out, set it aside, and guess what? You probably guessed it. We're gonna make a couple more of these. <laughs> So I do want to make a couple of notes. You see how some of them, they come to a point and there's a hole and you see how some of them, it cuts it off. That's okay. It doesn't matter if you have the cutoff or the um, full triangle with the hole in it. It doesn't matter. It's going to work because again, we're gluing everything down, not relying on that brad to hold everything in place. So of course I made a whole bunch of fun colors here. Look at my pastel rainbow. All right, I'm gonna flip them over on the back and now it's gonna be time to glue our popsicle sticks to the backs. Now you can also use those thin cocktail straws if you can find them in a nice color. Um, and all we're gonna do is add a little hot glue, glue it to the back, literally. Now do stay up near the brad because how we're gonna string these is a little bit on under so that they don't flip over uh, and make our banner look wonky. Speaking of the banner, we're just gonna throw load embroidery thread on a large needle and we're gonna start with a felt ball and then thread the bottom underneath where you glued it right all the way through. And you're just gonna alternate ball, pinwheel, ball, pinwheel. Double knot it at both ends so nothing moves and move on to the magnet. So this is the same free cut file, it's just made smaller. That's it, same thing. And there is a pretty brad used in the center. So if you're setting up this for a party, these would be adorable to send home in a party favor bag as a sweet little reminder from your summer, spring, or if you have a kid with a winter birthday like I do, from their winter party that you tried to bring a little bit of summer or spring into. Yep, I'm rambling. So all we're gonna do is just keep doing this all the way around. Again, a little bit of glue, not in that center part. And then I'm gonna take this pretty brad, which I don't even know where I got this, but you can get them at craft stores because that's probably where I got this. And I'm just gonna do the same exact thing. And I did add a little bit of extra glue because one of those I tried to, I tried to just use the glue from the other, what are they called? The other little tong of the pin, I don't know what they're called. It's gonna make me so crazy because as soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna look it up and then I'm gonna find out what they're called. All right, now this, this uh, popsicle stick is a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna shave it down a little bit and do the exact same thing. Now, I will say you're gonna wanna put a generous portion of hot glue, so not just the popsicle stick. You want it to sort of build up on each other, on, it, on itself into a little circle so that you can put your magnet on the back. Again, craft store purchase of 10 magnets in one pack. Although I think you can get them at the dollar store too. Anywho, guess what? We're all done. <laughs> My dancing magnet. It's not supposed to dance, Sarah. And that's it. So what do you think of this? If you want to cut these by hand or with the Cricut, let me know in the comments below. It's a free file either way. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.